the Joe Rogan experience. You know about the broken people when we tried to do when we when you opened for Joey. Yeah. Do you know this story? How I got my blue check mark. What happened? You know how I got verified on Instagram. How? Okay. I've been trying to get it verified on Instagram for like 10 years. Setting in, you send in a stupid fucking thing and you send in the articles that you've been mentioned in and they would always ignore it. And then last year in November. It was October. We opened October, for Joey at Sony Hall. At Broadway. Sold out show. We were so excited. I had the best set. I just had like one of the best sets of my life in this sold out theater. Everyone's like, whoa, like literally standing ovation, right? I get off stage. I'm going to get my camera that's on a tripod in the back. And like during the chaos at people being like, great job. You know, you have to walk past people to walk out. And then um, and some dude pokes my vagina. Like, oh, yes. I did, did you hear, hear this about story? This. Yeah. So he does that. But then when I turn around to see who does it, he acts like he's blind and disabled. So then immediately I'm like kind of just like my adrenaline's pumping just from the set itself and then that just happened and then I see that it's a blind person so I'm just like overwhelmed and then people are trying to like say hi and you know whatever after my set so I go to sit with Sarah and I go Sarah like some blind dude just like accidentally poked me in the vagina and she goes you got assaulted. What the fuck are you talking she, about? A she, blind guy touched you in the she, pussy. She brings me down to reality where I'm like, I have like a moment like that's so Raven where I go like, mm, and I go like, <laughs> I got touched. And it turns into like a, like a whole thing. Oh God. Cause now I'm like kind of pissed yeah. that I even let it, well, Is the I'm blind like, guy walking around still? So uh, uh, now, this story gets crazy. So now Joey's Joe. on stage, so I'm like, I have an hour to find this There's guy. People he came in for headsets. Joey. There's people at this theater sold out. They're in suits and little, you know, the earpieces that they bring for the president. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, yeah, they're yeah. doing that whole thing, and I'm I gave them a description. I'm like, he looked blind. I don't think he is. <laughs> Oh Chances God. are he's not really blind. Oh. And then I'm like, shit, like uh, I have uh, my camera set up. So I go and look and you only see the shadows. It's like it's like an SNL sketch, the way you can only see certain shadows and him kind of bump into me and like a, something happened and then he walks away and me looking around, but it's just shadows. So I'm like, he has this jaw. So we're zooming in on the jaw and he's like comparing, the staff is like comparing the pictures on their phones to it's the people in the crowd. so crazy. Everyone's looking for this dude. Then the server comes up and she goes, I have a guy in the back throwing up with his friend. He's throwing up in a trash can. I'm like, let me go look. So I take a peek in the back. I'm like, that's him immediately. And you know what's fucked up is that he looked a lot like this guy I know that works at Gas Digital (laughs) for Lewis who's blind. He looks like, they call him Gay Blind Mike at Gas Digital. And he looks a lot like him. So I thought I was being like gay racist. You mean blind racist? Blind, uh, yeah. (laughs) Blind Blind racist. racist. Where I was like, maybe all blind people look alike. Oh my God. And there's like, (laughs) like, (laughs) so so I was like, it's him. So, So then they're like, we'll take care of it. And they start escorting him out. And I guess he like gets away and runs out, right? Before they could get his ID and his information, which annoys me. But I'm gonna let it go. They're like he got away, but like yeah. But wasn't he so drunk he was throwing up in a trash can and they yes. can't catch him? No, he like I don't know how he got away. I wasn't there to see it. That's why I should have been there. But then it gets. Crazier. But then okay, so then I'm like kind of pissed that he got away because I'm like he just got away with that. And then I'm like gaslighting myself like did he even do it on purpose? He was so drunk. And they go well we know it was him for sure. And I go how do you know it was him? They go oh on his way out he said at least I got to touch Kim Congdon's pussy. So then, so then, I mean, this is like, at, at this point, Joey's off stage. I haven't even I'm told him what happened. I'm in the green room. I'm drinking champagne. There's a like, huge party Kim? in the green room, and I just got told this like by the door, and without saying anything to anyone, I just get up, and I go outside. I just beeline it for the exit. And I'm like, and security, I can hear them trying to keep up with me. And I'm like kicking doors open. I'm fucking pissed now. Because now I'm like, he did it on fucking purpose. And he's a fan and he knows my name. And like, now it's a problem for me, you know? And then I don't even know if I should say the next part. But I found him outside. Should you not say this part? I found him outside. She she found him outside. (laughs) I found him outside. (laughs) And then they were like, do you want to call the cops? I was like, no. She took care of it herself. <laughs> That's yeah. One That's, thing about mom is she gonna do it herself. <laughs> um. Yeah, like no one would be mad at you for doing that. 
No. Especially it's a guy. You started with a bitch slap. That's all I'll say. Started with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I how started drunk with that. was he? Like, was he recognizing how I'll, bad he fucked up? Like, was what was he thinking? Well, he said that on his way out, so he was proud of it. That's the thing that pissed right. me off. I would have let it almost go, because oh I was like, God. he's drunk. But the fact that he said that, he had like nerves still. You know what I mean? He was sober enough to be a fucking uh, dick. But then, so you're sober enough to get your ass kicked. The whole night went different because I was like, my friend got touched. We're getting Chinese. Also, food. it was horrible because when I kicked, <laughs> when I kicked open the door. There was a bunch of fans outside because Joey just ended, so they're all waiting uh, to say hi. Like, and I just had a great set. Everything. Yeah, and I just had a great set, so they immediately remember my name, and I have all these fans. They're going, Kim, and I say nothing past them. <laughs> all they see is me uh, kick open the door, go past them. I mean, absolutely, from the, hook, from the hip, like I'm throwing a hook, open hand, drop someone. Dropped him with an open hand, and then, and then yeah. But then there was a Variety article about it, and that's how this bitch got verified. <laughs> and then they yeah. used that article to get her check mark. That was the check mark. That was how she I got, got my verified check mark. Check mark, and, and honestly, worth it. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> that's all it took. Uh, I wish a blind man would come touch my vagina. <laughs> Be careful I was what a you wish jealous. for. Yeah, don't wish for that out loud. No. Yeah, she's joking, everyone. If there's but, a blind man in there, that's like I've been waiting for my time. <laughs> that's a dude who gets his strategies from like a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> Just pretend you're blind. <laughs> Well, I'm a dumbass. I fell for it. I was like, oh, he was blind, that poor boy. Did he have boy. a cane? Uh, no. He yeah. was just like... <laughs> that, who the fuck is blind and just walks I out did, without a cane? I didn't have time to think about it. They all have I don't, canes. I don't think about the habits of the blind post-show, like post-show, right. post-touch. Right, post-touch. And then... What? Chaos. Yeah. Dude, afterward, we saw, you know those like LED balloons that light the up? The clear ones that yes. Disney sells? Sarah was trying to make me feel better in any way. She's like, I'll get you Chinese. Do you want an egg roll? I'll buy it. You got touched. She kept saying that. She kept saying, you got touched. And said, everybody kept saying, when mommy me. gets touched, mama eats Chinese too. Yeah. <laughs> And then she and then she tried to buy me the balloon and I was like, I don't want a balloon. She's like, You love those balloons. She remembered I mentioned them before. She was like, You love those balloons. I'll get that balloon for you. You got touched. So she literally I'm like, say I know. She's like, No, I'm getting it. And she opens the door and she goes to get the balloon and they like literally like drive off as she's like walking. <laughs> <laughs> and she has to like, come back and I'm tell like, sorry, me. Sorry, you're not getting the balloon in, you got touched. <laughs> yeah. uh. And so now every time I see that balloon <laughs> I know. And I was gonna get you one of them for your birthday. I was like, No, I know she likes those balloons, but it's gonna remind her of getting touched Jesus but now we just bring it up every time we want to tell the story <laughs> I got verified anyways so. that's the most hilarious way to get verified <laughs> right? that's so crazy